Greetings and welcome everybody. We're not trying to deconstruct anybody or anything. I don't even understand all that. But I hear that going on a lot. There's a lot of rebuking and there's a lot of naming and accusing and false prophets, false teachers. I'm teaching everybody. Watch out because there's true and false, but also a lot of income being made by these who get on and monetize while lambasting and then drawing, knowing how, putting a famous name or person will draw people, especially if they call them and accuse them of being prosperity teachers. So we know the movements from before all this, during all this, what, when this happened, why it happened, and it is an outcome that is displeasing to the Holy Spirit, the fear of the Lord. Uh, it is displacing trust in the Messiah. You can't see past the famous face. You can't see past the heightened frenzy of accusation of wannabeism. Yeah, the latest tawdry gossip. Let's make it within four minutes after somebody is announced on the media that they fall and they've gotten in trouble. They're up there. Name all you very young, younger and younger, old and but usually middle income and I think wanting to be famous or think that's how they do it. They never were born before this happened with no sound doctrine to how you respect. It's about holy fear of the Lord and lovelessness. It's about uh, chicanery and shysterism trying to take place of what is really fellowship in the saints and what is Christianity. I'm talking New Testament, not Old Testament in the you know law. We want Old Testament, of course. I teach from it all the time. But what I'm saying, use of the Old Testament to word curse to vilify, lambast, to make money off of it on top of it is foul and false. I'm saying it, assessing it, and not naming your names, you word cursors. I'm teaching doctrine instead, theology, real theology, that is a foot on the ground, one eye open, and a history without the word curse law. And up to now, we're, we're, we're in a famine, joyful famine, of income because we do not go after we don't go after people or it, the finances, but we will teach on it because I had to live it out to see if some of these famous doctrines that are now name called for years and Big Boss, I'm going to see what do they really apply in real life. And that's what I've done. Live the doctrine of the last 40 years plus Baptist plus finding the best common doctrines that are, you know, many movements. God has a lot of them. Um, a lot of parts of his his Holy Spirit dunamis, and he can't handle it. All of us can't handle it all. None of us has got it all. That's why he made variety in different tribes and nations in Africa and Hispanic and all the global people groups and uh, Caucasian and uh, Middle Eastern and all these different ones, Asian. He's given us ourselves. But what are we going to do? Use ourselves to get what we want, to hurt other people, to hurt his good name. And that's what we're furious. That's why we're out of this. We're tired of it. We love Jesus. We love people. We love the people who were cursed, but we're not going to deal with that stuff. Paul told me, I know the Bible. Paul said, get out if they resemble the from such turn away fellowships of 2 Timothy 3, 1 through 5 and 1 Timothy 6, 5. When they accuse people and they're not on proper eternal assignment. So when I'm getting this pepped up, it's fed up, not mad, but it's tossing over those set in their ways. Everybody's got our way. It's all these people with all these pet doctrines of Pharisees of your own move. I've called it neo-Phariseeism, trends of the Pharisees, whatever the latest is, the cult following. All of them are going to teach it, get on it, and stick with it. And there is no knowledge of Ephesians 4 community, the bride of Christ. There is no knowledge of the holy fear of the Lord. It is all about labeling, judging, rumors. I heard the latest. I saw. I caught. Phariseeism. That's all it is. So we're putting down. I'm, te I'm purpose after all these years, I'm teaching purposely to anybody who has an ear to hear. I don't care if you've got no church, you never want to go, you've never been. I understand why. I don't care if you're black, brown, green, purple, red state, blue state, no state. I don't care. It's not about me, it's about the Lord. The Lord was from the Middle East. Jesus Christ was from the Middle East. He was the Messiah. 
But who would want to know that if you've never heard anything? But he was a slave owner, a privileged colonial or something. But see, right now, there, there have been movements that are not like that. But they're more calm. They're so respectful. They never do this that I'm mentioning and, and assessing and accosting online. And you don't see me, you don't watch, you can't watch me put their name up, their famous name. They're, the LP movement, Levitical Patriarch movement, I'm teaching and playing. I'm going to teach it with, because it is part of big ministries, a lot of music, a lot of gifting, a lot of talent, but a lot of uh, our way or the highway, our way or the highway, we rule, it's a cult spirit. So we're putting that down, not them personally. We're warning people because of the caginess, the collective uh, psychic reading, the collective different things. But it's a lot of dysfunction, and it really and it could be Baptist. Any you know any group, any color can do this. But I'm letting my field is Holy Spirit Book of Acts, and we notice that online. I just you know one reason I'm off, barely have anything up on. YouTube, it is so much garbage in the last year with all these people, neophytes on up, who have no knowledge of real protocol, no confrontation, nobody, not a bit, you instead, oh no, I, I heard that, I saw that, let me jump in the bandwagon, make my money and monetize the video with my famous, well-produced, edited video or, or talk show, and I'm going to go hash it out, I'm going to show clips. I'm going to show people falling out in the power and mock them. You know what that can be to me? That means they're blaspheming the Holy Spirit at their peril. Could be. Watch out. I would study that and train on it. Last, I think, in all these people who are pandering. <laughs> they're using God's name in vain to pander, using Jesus to get money. Pandering. Lowering the bar by dehumanizing using subjective gossip tabloid style video and audio and also the use of their energy their ministry call their name and their gift to do that for themselves so this is why we don't care to impress we're not out there to impress we're here to assess and address if anyone hears at all because I know who's out there I know what's out there oh yeah there's the remnant but then there's the other stuff, the force field of power play, grabbing, wannabeism, gossip, targeting, prayer, psychic, dough raking, uh, mesmerizing, and there's also the who's who. Yeah, we don't uh, pay attention unless you're part of the who's who. That's all right. God pays attention. That's all we want. So you have my privilege. You have my privilege and my permission to. Pick apart this doctrine, this teacher. You have my pick apart to pick, like be Philippians 2, 12, a noble Berean who'd make Paul and your papa and mama proud. And you work out your own salvation. Now I'm going to give you our perspective. Nobody's under me. I'm not over you. I'm not owning you. So when I say this, even though where I live is very peaceful, it's not like that. It's not dysfunctional. I have traveled and sent and lived in areas where I found this. And I think of you, that's why I'm online, so you can hear somebody. Maybe you're surrounded by it. You can't get out of it like I used to be at certain times in my life, big and small. Not everywhere. There were so many good people, but if you've never met anybody except that kind, you'll have a, a stain in your spirit about, is that the boys club everywhere? Is that what Jesus wants with the boys club, the men's club, the big shot club? So I can picture um, the framework from which I address so strongly, and that would be to the normal people that need this, to say, yeah, I'm not alone. <laughs> Have God's permission to study and not be drinking everybody's Kool-Aid, their poison, lasciviousness. And then God can take people in these churches, some of these churches, some of these ministries and start a whole new in and out so we teach outside the church never go never want to go never been but we also believe in fellowship with the saints corporate move of god is needed but you have to be so careful very careful so it's two things beware of the strange children i'm going to move on but beware of the strange children 
and you know them by their false teaching that Jesus is not the only way, they, uh, there's no community, it's about us, it's too much about stuff. All right, it says they teach, in Psalm 144, it says they teach, they have mouths of vanity, and they have the right hand of falsehood. The mouths of vanities mean they're teaching temporal things, possessions, power, their stuff, their way, their Phariseeism, and not a, and their gift. Oh yes, our gift. Let's swoon at our, the feet of the gift. No, no, it's the Lord. So there is a lot of mixture in there, good and evil. Uh, you can go to the occult or not, control. But then you have the right hand of falsehood. The right hand of falsehood is false authority. Abusive, accusing, sly, mesmerizing, backbiting, orchestrated reading you, psychic, praying against. A lot of stuff is going on right now. It is called what? Witchcraft. Witchcraft, as in old day Saul, King Saul, he was killed off by God because he went to the wrong power source. See, it's about power. Holy Spirit power? No. Their power. It's psychic or whatever. It's off. So, the realm of accusation follows that when that witchcraft is active in groups and they give it permission, you can always find people finding fault, complaining, murdering people, backbiting, toying with God's people, and that's what we pulled out of that. It's, it's a disaster. It's become a disaster. God is good. He's not finished with the United States, but unless this powerful group, gigantic media, well, well known and followers by the tons and tons around the world unless they let God move and they repent from this false authority mammon chasing and witchcraft and all these things and they get on true basic core doctrine as well as their other fine things America's gone it really is because it says let judgment self judgment come to the house of God not the other people not the other faiths and this is what's for. If they would carve out the Old Testament as well, sing it Chronicles 714. It's for me too, and you, anybody. Anybody who hears. It says if if God's people say if if the people who are called by God's name will humble themselves and seek his face and turn from our wicked ways, then he'll have hear from heaven and heal our land. And our land needs healed. All right, so it says if that's a condition it also can mean in the days of playtime ministry oh if we ever get around to it if we feel it's important we can carve out the time on our busy schedule if God's people who are called by his name not other names of any other faith or ministry God's name will humble themselves it's an act of personal before God by himself if they humble, self-humble themselves and seek his face, not his riches, not his ability to get your talent known, not your ability to get out there on the front lines, no. Seek his face and turn, repent, turn away from all the stuff he tells you and turn from the wicked ways. Then he'll hear from you and heal your part of the land, our part of the land. So let's all do it collectively, one by one. God is good, His mercy endures. And I will close again with Isaiah 118 for the nation and for all the, these people. It says, Come, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, He will wash them white as snow. Sins of omission, commission, dutiful sins, forgotten sins, all these things. It, but it says, Come, that's a relationship, a respect of God. The relationship, come, let's talk about it. Let's work it out. I know it's not easy, but let, I want you to repent, but I still want to hear your side. So that is the opposite of Bible bashing, Bible beatdowns, calling the people false prophets. With They mostly call the people, I've studied this, God had me study it. Most people are calling and targeting people online with vitriol, are using back under the law, word cursing, that they're, they're false in that. They've never confronted, they're not of their move, they're against the book of Acts, or they're before the book of Acts and against those that are not, and that's also no community. So there's a lot of this uh, peers that are um, false right now. You can have some true, and you can have some false. It's Ishmael. God bless you. He loves you. This is Tavo, Prophet Tavo, DRC. Bye-bye.